Are you ready to go back to Titanic? Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 Titanic moments. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're taking a look at the most famous and well-loved scenes from James Cameron's Best Picture winner. We'd issue a spoiler alert, but come on, who hasn't seen the movie at this point? Titanic was called the Ship of Dreams, and it was. Number 10, Jack Wins Tickets. When you got nothing, you got nothing to lose. As the Titanic is about to set sail, life seemingly deals Jack Dawson a lucky hand. Jack and Fabrizio are willing to bet everything they've got for tickets aboard the Ship of Dreams. Cause we're going to America. Full house, boys! No! Oh, <laughs> After presenting a full house, Jack is bound for America. Naturally, the European guys he bests aren't pleased about losing. As the audience knows, however, these two actually dodged a bullet. Well, technically they dodged an iceberg. Even if the Titanic's voyage proves ill-fated, it doesn't matter to our protagonist in the long run. Winning that ticket is still the best thing that ever happened to Jack, as it brings him one step closer to meeting the love of his life. We're riding in high style now! We're a couple of regular swells! Number 9, Iceberg Right Ahead. Iceberg right ahead! On the starboard! starboard! Even if you went into this movie without knowing the history of the Titanic, the opening scenes gives us the play-by-play. -play. Since the audience knows what lies dead ahead, you'd think this movie might lack some tension. When that iceberg inevitably pops up, though, you can't help but get a sinking feeling in your stomach. This is largely because we form such a powerful connection with Jack, Rose, and the other passengers aboard the supposedly unsinkable ship. Shut up the dampers! Shut up! Despite the crew's best efforts to turn the vessel, it grazes against the iceberg. With the Titanic's fate sealed, the film's tone suddenly shifts from whimsical to harrowing. Number 8, A Real Party. So you want to go to a real party? Underneath her prim and proper exterior, there's a wild side to Rose DeWitt Bucator that's been dying to break out. When Jack takes her to a dance below the ship's deck, Rose is finally able to blossom. It might not be first class, but this is where the real party's at. Despite Rose's initial trepidation, Jack convinces her to go with the flow. I can't do this. We're gonna have to get a little bit closer. Like this. <laughs> Cutting loose like never before, Rose shows Jack that she can dance, drink, and maintain perfect balance on her tippy toes. This infectiously fun scene not only brings Jack and Rose closer together, but also releases the inner rebel Rose has been repressing for 17 years. <laughs> Number 7, and the band played on. While this movie primarily follows fictional characters, it also pays tribute to the people who actually lost their lives aboard the Titanic. One of the most effective scenes focuses on the musicians who went down with the ship. As the Titanic meets its end, the band is instructed to play soothing music. Rather than preserving their own lives, these brave men come together for one last performance of Nearer My God to Thee. Their bittersweet music is met with tear-jerking imagery, the highlight being Isidore and Ida Strauss holding each other as the water floods their room. By offering just a little comfort as panic erupts, the band makes all the difference. Gentlemen, it has been a privilege playing with you tonight. Number 6, Put Your Hands on Me, Jack. <laughs> Where to, miss? To the stars. After giving Cal's bodyguard the slip and the finger, our lovers wind up in the ship's cargo hold. Stumbling upon a fancy automobile, Rose asks Jack to take her to the stars. Put your hands on me, Jack. The location perfectly sets the mood as Jack and Rose make love for the first time. Although this mainly takes place off screen, this is still one of the steamiest scenes in the movie, especially as we see a hand slide down the car window. Just as Jack is left trembling, so are we. This intimate moment marks the pinnacle of Jack and Rose's happiness, which makes the remainder of the movie all the more tragic. You're trembling. <sighs> Don't worry. I'll be all right. Number five, when Jack met Rose. Really? 
Rose may not be able to foresee the iceberg on the horizon, but she does have a premonition about her impending marriage to Cal. Rather than wedding a man she despises, Rose decides to jump overboard where a watery grave awaits. Just as she's about to jump, Jack shows up to talk her down. Don't come any closer! Come on, just give me your hand, I'll pull you back over. He fortunately gets through to Rose, making it clear that if she jumps, he jumps. You let go and I'm, I'm gonna have to jump in there after you. The scene masterfully mixes thrills, humor, and romance, leading to the moment where Jack and Rose eventually introduce themselves. I'm Jack Dawson. Rose, do it, big hitter. I have to get you to write that one down. <laughs> From then on, their hearts are forever intertwined. Even when she's on a lifeboat, Rose won't jump without Jack. Why did you do that? Why? <laughs> you jump, I jump, right? Number four, draw me like one of your French girls. Jack, I want you to draw me like one of your French girls. The heart of the ocean is one of the most expensive diamonds in the world. In Rose's eyes, however, this necklace feels more like a collar, reminding her that she belongs to the possessive cow. As Rose falls in love with Jack, though, she finds a way to turn her engagement present into something liberating. She asks Jack to draw her wearing nothing but the heart of the ocean, making leeway for arguably the most iconic nude scene of all time. Nudity in most movies usually comes off as gratuitous, but this sequence overflows with elegance, atmosphere, and sensuality. What's more, it marks a crucial plot point that links the past and present storylines together. Number 3. Never Let Go Don't you say your goodbyes. Not yet. Do you understand me? Following the breathtaking sinking sequence, our heroes are left stranded in the freezing, unforgiving waters. While Rose is ready to say goodbye, Jack refuses to give up hope. He makes Rose promise that she'll survive this ordeal and go on to have a fulfilling life. You're gonna die an old, an old lady, warm in her bed. <laughs> Not here. While a lifeboat does come to the rescue, it's too late for poor Jack. Although part of her is tempted to let go, Rose holds on to the promise she made for the rest of her days. Promise me now, Rose. And never let go of that promise. I promise. Never let go. Titanic has no shortage of heartbreaking moments, but watching Jack descend to his final resting place is more than we can handle. You have our permission to unleash an ocean of tears. I'll never let go. I promise. <laughs> Number two, I'm flying. Give me your hand. Two of the most unforgettable moments in Titanic occur at the boat's bow. Leonardo DiCaprio's improvised King of the World declaration remains as quotable as ever. Yet nothing sums up the film's sheer beauty and epic scale quite like this astounding scene. Realizing who she truly belongs with, Rose joins Jack at the front of the ship. Hold on to the railing. Keep your eyes closed, don't pee. I'm not. Since actions speak louder than words, Jack simply asks Rose to take his hand, close her eyes, and let the view do the talking. When Rose opens her eyes, it's as if she's flying across the sea. What better way to close out this lovely sequence than with Jack and Rose sharing their first kiss? Before we unveil our top pick, let's make some room on the floating door for a few honorable mentions. Watch closely. That's disgusting! Are you cold? Right now. Oh, to him! To be a whore to a gutter rat! No, wait! I'd rather be his whore than your wife. Can I tell you name, please, love? Dawson. Rose Dawson. Number one, Jack and Rose reunited. <laughs> While they don't get to live happily ever after, Jack and Rose do get a happy ending nonetheless. The final scene of Titanic reveals that an elderly Rose has lived an enriching life full of adventure. Drifting into slumber, Rose finds herself back aboard the Titanic for the ultimate curtain call. Surrounded by all the ship's passengers, she eventually comes face to face with Jack atop the staircase. The two then share the most passionate of kisses, causing everyone to break out in applause. It's never been clarified whether Rose is dreaming or if she's gone to the afterlife, 
In either case, it's clear that she's at peace and that her heart will go on. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Ms. Mojo and subscribe for new videos every day.